with those warmer temperatures comes spring cleaning season, and that means harmful chemicals will be within reach of your pets. Jeremy Brilliant and Dr. Jennifer Crow tell us what you should do to keep your pets safe. Many common household items can be harmful to your pet, but good awareness can help protect them. And tomorrow kicks off National Poison Prevention Week. This morning, our vet, Dr. Jennifer Crow from Fisher's Veterinary Hospital, is here to tell us about things that you're in your house that your pet should stay away from. Good morning, Jennifer, and tell us what are some of those things? Because some of these things are things that we have around that are common household items that really you got to keep cats and dogs away from. Yep, um, and children. National Poison Prevention Week was designed for parents to be aware of what was in their house. And even though our pets are not kids, um, they are certainly act like them. So we, there's a lot of things that can be toxic. They may not actually be deadly in any way. Um, but they can be harmful and the number one is medications whether that's prescription or over-the-counter the dosage for animals is not the same as in people so you want to keep them out of their reach and uh, unlike children where you have a childproof cap a dog definitely a lot of dogs can chew right through those things and get into them if they smell good to the dog then they can get into them so they really have to be in a place they have no access to yep they mix noise, um, it's easy for them to chew it open. So it's, it's something to keep up and out of their reach. Um, if you happen to drop a pill, make sure to pick it up uh, or find it. And if you think your dog suggested one, call your vet. Um, sometimes the medication we use in them and it's gonna be fine. Other times we're gonna tell you to bring them in or, or make them vomit. Um, and the same goes for a lot of other things around the house. Um, cleansers, chemicals, you know, they can get burns in their mouth, it can give them an upset stomach. Same thing with insecticides. Um, there are some of them that are okay, but others that really can make them feel quite ill. And let's talk about that for a second, because as it gets warmer, we're going to be spraying a lot of those. We're going to have bugs and ants, and uh, a lot of those require you spraying kind of a barrier around your house. If you have a dog or cat, do you have to be, you know, keep that away from their area, or just look at the label? Look at the label. A lot of times once it's dry, it's okay. Um, so there's two things. You don't want them to lick it up while it's wet and you don't want them to breathe it in if it's something that you're spraying. But a lot of times once it's dry, it's okay. Check the label. Um, a lot of products for ants are really safe for pets, but they can chew on them because uh, mm -hmm. they taste good um, and that can give them an upset tummy. All right, speaking of taste good foods, we think of a lot of foods and there are the stereotypical things like, you know, you should never give a dog chocolate. But, uh, and Easter is coming up, so I think people are going to have a lot of chocolate around. Is it that big of a deal? Do you need to worry about it? Or is it all sweets and candies and other types of foods? So a lot of it is the amount that they ingest. So grapes and raisins and chocolate and garlic all can be problems for our pets, but they usually have to ingest quite a bit. Um, so just be aware of what it is that you're giving them. And if you're unsure, again, get in touch with your vet. We're going to have new plants out too, and Easter lilies can be quite toxic, um, so those we really worry about. Other plants just create tummy upset or even sores inside their mouth. All right, Jennifer Crow from Fisher's Veterinary Hospital, thanks so much for joining us at all, as always. And you can see more of what Jennifer has to say at our website at WTHR.com and click on Hot Topics.